dear students welcome to this video lecture series on digital electronics so today we are going to learn about demultiplexer demultiplexer in digital electronics so a demultiplexer is a digital circuit or we may say that it is a combinational logic that performs the inverse operation of that of a multiplexer in the last tutorial we saw that a multiplexer circuit performs the operation of a data selector that means it had n number of input lines and one output line here we will have the inverse operation that means here we will have one data input line that is denoted by i and we will have n number of output data lines which is denoted by y0 to yn minus 1 we will have an enable input that will activate the circuit when it is 1 and when e equal to 0 does this circuit on operate so we will have some select lines starting from sm minus 1 to s0 so here we have m number of select lines the relation between the number of select lines and the number of output lines is given as 2 to the power m equal to n so we can write it as m equal to log of n base 2 so if we have suppose uh, four number of output lines then we will have here four and here we will get m equal to two now let us start with an example so we will discuss here a one is to eight demultiplexer one is to eight demultiplexer demultiplexer or one is to eight data distributor let us draw the block diagram of it. In 1 is to 8 demultiplexer, we will have one single input line and we will have 8 output lines. So the input line is denoted by i and the y output lines are y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6 and y7 and we will have here an enable input denoted by capital E and we will have select lines here we will have select lines here so how many select lines now we will calculate using this formula so m equal to log of 8 base 2 so we can rewrite it as log of 2 cube base 2 equal to 3 log of 2 base 2 equal to 3 so we require here 3 select lines here we will have 3 select lines s2 s1 and s0 this is a 1 is to 8 d multiplexer now let us make the truth table of it here we can see one thing these output lines which one will be selected is governed by these select lines so we have to consider the input as the the inputs and we will have this as the output so now we'll make the truth table for 1 is to 8 the multiplexer here we'll have these inputs s2 s1 and s0 s2 s1 and s0 these are the inputs and we will have eight number of outputs that means y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 y7 so depending on the select lines we will have any of this output port will be selected that means the input line that means this input line will be directed to any one of the output lines 
so for three input select lines we will have a combination s0 and i so here we will use an n gate and you will get y1 so for this first input when 0 0 0 y0 will be selected so we will have i here that means the input data line i will be connected to the output port y0 so other will receive zero that means other poor other output lines won't receive anything so for this 0, 0, 001 similarly we have first y0 won't receive anything and y2 y1 will receive i that means input data line will be connected to this y1 and other will be zero and so on from this truth table we can say that in all these cases e equal to one the enable input is one so while designing the logic circuit we have to consider an enable line and it will be high all the time whenever the circuit needs to work now we will find out the expressions for y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 and y7 so for y0 except for this select line 0 0 0 condition for all the other combinations the outputs is 0 so y0 we can write it as y0 equal to s2 bar s1 bar s0 bar and the input data line i similarly for the y1 we will have s2 bar s1 bar s0 and i y2 equal to s2 bar s1 s0 bar i y3 equal to s2 bar s1 s0 i y4 equal to s2 s1 bar s0 bar i y5 equal to s2 s1 bar and s0 i so for all these uh, values or with all the select lines we have to multiply i that means this i is transferred to that output port so y6 equal to s2 s1 s0 bar i so y7 equal to s2 s1 s0 and i so these are the boolean expressions for the output ports that means y0 to y7 now we will see the logic diagram of 1 is to 8 the multiplexer so while making this logic diagram we will assume that the enable line is high that means e equal to 1 so we have three select lines and one data line so let us draw it s2 s1 s0 and an input data line i here we will take a complement that means we will use an inverter to get the s2 bar line and similarly for s1 also we will use an inverter and we will get here s1 bar and for the s0 also we will use an inverter and we will get s0 bar so for the output line y0 we we got s0 bar sorry s2 bar s1 bar and s0 bar into i therefore we will select from here s2 bar s1 bar and s0 bar and i we will use here an n gate and we will get here y0 and similarly for y2 sorry y1 we will have s2 bar s1 bar s0 similarly for all the other terms let us draw it quickly
these are the output lines here one thing is common that for all the output lines we have the input data line i common that means this input line will be that means input data line will be connected to the output line as it is here no there is no complement or nothing just we will be connecting to this whenever this value are all zero this i line i will be connected to this y zero whenever this is zero zero one we will have this i connected to y1 and so on for the others thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any question please put it in the comments below thank you